Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and Antihero is another huge smash from Taylor Swift, but what if right now was the 90s and Taylor Swift was in a ska band? I realize that no one asked for this, but stick with me through the creation because this one is going to be great. I know this one is going to be great because... <laughs> ska is a complex style of music with a rich history. So instead of going it alone and once again pretending like I play trombone and saxophone, I got a ska superhero to help out. Hello internet! My name is Jer and I run a YouTube channel called Ska2 Network. For over six years, right here in this room, I've been taking songs that aren't ska songs and turning them into ska songs. So when Allie reached out to me to help give Taylor Swift the ska treatment we all know she deserves, I was beyond thrilled. Let's Go! From what I've gathered, ska is punk rock guitars drums mixed with slick horns. So it's like in high school, that group of punks that was cooler than me mixed with that group of band geeks that was somehow also cooler than me. And Jer is the human embodiment of that. From sizzling guitars to trombone, saxophone, trumpet, Jer does it all and Jer is cool. So bafflingly, they said that I should start on the arrangement for this. I'm clearly the not cool kid novice in this ska production group. But instead of being intimidated, I'm just gonna be me and do my best. First, we need a tempo. This is about 100. We need it way faster. And I know this because of this classic ska gem. Oh yeah, we're fast. Now I understand that opening this song first and that the impression that I get is basically the be all and end all of ska in my brain is very posery. But also it's a sweet jam, so shut. Sure. So I'm working on expanding my brain. This is this cover that's a really fast ska. This is how I know we need a fast tempo. And another one. Let's try 165. That'll do. And now the first thing I want is the, the reason that I love ska. Horns, lots of horns, it's, you can't do too many horns. So the horns are just there to fill in the space between the vocals, but not to be too overbearing. I need a trumpet line. I mean, I need a trumpet. Let's not reinvent the wheel here. I do believe Taylor's already given us a line. The part in the song when you're going from the chorus to the verse is called a turnaround, and hers is great. And to It sounds awesome with the trumpets, but I didn't actually see what the melody was like at this tempo. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. It's fine, that's good, I can definitely pull that off. Hello, future Ellie cutting in here in the middle of shooting the music video for this because I wanted to tell you about AG1. I mean, you don't need my specific shaking technique, but I prefer it. Mm. A little sweet, so good. AG1 is comprehensive daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality whole food sourced ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens, carefully curated to nourish all the body's systems holistically. Look at what I'm making right now. These shots are in the very early morning and I honestly have not had coffee yet. And I don't have to interrupt my insane prancing to stay on my healthy intentions because it's this easy. And even when I'm not in my yard shooting, I can still stay committed because of travel packs. You might not know I have a separate channel called Fitness Outrageous and I'm always working out and always trying to improve my recovery. And today, I've already been headbanging for 30 minutes straight and I still have three more shot locations. So I wanna give myself the minerals to aid my recovery because I know from previous experience, my neck muscles are going to be struggling tomorrow. And AG1 is NSF certified for sport, which is the gold standard for professional athletes. So you know what's on the package is in the powder. Go to athleticgreens.com slash Spagnola to get started on your first order. And Athletic Greens is hooking my pallies up with one free full year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs with your first order. And now back to making the music and also stick around for the music video because it is ridiculous. Okay, I have a bajillion horns going along with my melody. <laughs> I am cutting out the horns from the first two choruses. That way, so they really pop on that last chorus, and so it gives breathing room, so it doesn't feel like you're just being constantly bombarded by horns. No, I need guitars. I'm not gonna get my guitar yet. Let's just MIDI this, figure out what it's gonna do. I need a good example of how to handle the guitars. <laughs> what? It's a good example. They do upbeat strumming. That feels like it's got thing. Now I put two MIDI guitars together so it sounds a little more real. I mean, it's still MIDI guitars posing as real guitars. <laughs> See there? Now in the chorus, it comes in much harder, a punk sound guitar. Let me get some different poser MIDI. It's 
It's fine, we get the idea. I can't believe I've gone this far without drums. I don't have a real drum set, so this, this is the best I can do. They're definitely gonna stay fake. And now I can believe we've gone this long without doing bass. I don't own a bass, it will most definitely be fake. I also don't really own the intelligence and how to write a bass line. Like not just ska, in general, I always ignore the bass and do a bad job about it. But let's get a good example of a ska bass line. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sunday Morning has a good bass, and you can really hear it in the opening. It's just going all over. It's the focus of the song here. Okay, I saved you the agony of watching me figure that out, and if we have some bass, here's what it's doing. I guess it feels good. It's a little posery, but I will be moving on. It's, there's something I heard in Sunday morning that I really like. You hear how that feel really changed? I want this to go on a journey. Lots of different sections, different feels. I'm liking it now. I really, honestly, I want to do the whole song. Taylor has a third verse and I really want to change it up then. Otherwise it's just same thing over and over. Hmm, what does Mighty Mighty Boss Tones do on their bridge? Cool. Okay, really pulling it back. Also that strum thing is different. I gotta edit my poser guitars. Honestly, it would be easier at this point to just pull out my actual guitar, but whatever, we're in deep on this fake now. <laughs> deep fake. So I programmed a separate track. Here, let's just listen to that one. Which is the muted scratches that they're doing. It's it's like a percussive thing. And then the other tracks are the, the strums. But now we have a completely different feel. And then this. I mean, I really wanted to pull it back. This is not the impression that I get. This is, I don't know what it is. But it is really sparse now, so let's add something to support my vocals that I still don't know if I can pull off. Fake sax, why not? Now I just have to sing like Gwen Stefani, because... I am the MIDI version of Gwen Stefani. Okay, I did the first verse and chorus, and I'm not going to finish it because I feel like we may just throw this track out because I don't know what I'm doing. It turns out being me and doing my best means sounding very fake, but whatever, I'm not gonna try and hide it. I'm just gonna send this pile of computer-generated music to Jerry. All right, so Ali sent over the demo and the project that I'm gonna be recording everything on, so I'm gonna give it a listen and see how well Ali is at writing ska. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, there's like this like hook, I guess, that happens after like, the, I believe the first verse of the original song. Before working on this, I thought that would be like a good horn part at the beginning of the song. So we're already on the same wavelength, Ali. The cool kid said we're on the same wavelength and knows my name. It's me. All right, so in the email, Ali said I could roast her, so we're gonna- No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do all that. I mean, yeah, it sounds, it sounds like a ska song. I have never been cooler. The inflection of the vocal style I love, I mean, it's, it, it's giving- it's giving no doubt. In the chorus, those- It's me, Those hits. So moving that downbeat away from one, like, most people want to have that, like, daku daku boom kind of, you know, like a hit on one. But the fact that that hit is on two, it's, it's just very ska. So Allie hasn't finished her vocals yet. The thing is, if you got someone moving when they're listening to Ska, then you already know you're doing a pretty good job at writing Ska. BRB, you're inventing a time machine to go back and tell high school nerd me that we're finally going to be cool. So honestly, I don't think this needs to be changed a lot. I think the structure of it is very well done. And I think there's just slight little changes that I'm gonna make. Like I'm just gonna add like what I'm gonna call like 10% more into the style. I wanna change just one little thing in the first verse. That drum beat right now we have a kick on one snare on three i want to make it four on the floor and then in the second first to kind of bring it down a little bit i'm going to transition it the hi-hat is hitting on all the upbeats and then you have the the side stick and the kick hitting on two and four i call it the ska rhythm you know like ska is based off of the syncopation the the upbeats and 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 two and and four and that's the ska beat the bridge what i'm gonna do is to give like the little homage that beginning rhythm that you hear in the original boom ka, boom 
Yeah. It's not present in this whole cover. And I feel like when people hear that song, that's the first thing they think of. So beat up, ba 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 da. I'm gonna kind of add that in as like a little breakdown part interlude during that little horn hook. And I think that'll be a really cool way to kind of show like we haven't forgotten it, but you know, then it transitions out of that because Scott, let's get to recording some drums. <laughs> Holy crap. These are real drums. This has to be, that's an overhead mic played on a real set. And by recording, I mean playing them on a MIDI keyboard very well. <laughs> So up next is bass guitar. I don't even think I'm gonna change much with this bass line. What? I'm actual floored by this. I feel like it was just dumb luck. I think the thing that people don't realize about ska is that it is a very rhythmic genre and it, its basis comes from Afro-Caribbean music. You can actually use, you know, the muted tones and use that for more of like a percussive element. It's almost acting like, you know, kind of in place of like a shaker almost. A lot of ska guitarists do that. Uh, even though the, ch the chugs and pop punk wasn't really a thing in the 90s, I still think it'll be fun, so we're gonna do it. Yeah! And now here we are, about to add the most important part of the ska song. The organ, you cannot change my mind, the organ is what makes ska pop. The ska organ balances the being the rhythm section, sometimes being the lead, sometimes filling in little licks here and there. <laughs> trying to go for almost like a really almost dirty sound. Sometimes that's just the vibe, just to get a little bit of that grit in there. Cause a lot of what we do is digital, you know, like fake drums, fake keys, multi-layering, all this stuff, this digital stuff, the way to combat that. In the spaces in which you have the ability to leave that human element, have that human element in there. And now I'm gonna do a little thing we refer to in the ska road as toasting. It's basically creating like a shaker-like rhythm, but with your mouth. It, You'll see what I mean. And now me like a walk away from the mic. Hup, 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 hup. And that is a wrap my brain is currently putting right now because I've been working on this all day, but I think it's gonna be worth it when we all hear the final product. Allie, thank you again so much for having me on this and helping me make this song reach its fullest ska potential. Let's go! Oh, 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 oh. it's real. Everything is real. This is fantastic. That 10% that Jer's talking about really knowing ska made a thousand percent difference. Plus the fact that all my poser MIDI is replaced. I am so hesitant to do this. Okay, let's hear my version back to back with Jer's. Can we tell who this is? And now switch. So much better. Ugh, oh, that's hard. Listen to my crap. Here we go. <laughs> also, Jer quoted the impression that I get in the bridge. I feel so vindicated. Oh, how cool. And the organ and the guitar tone, it is all just so epic. And now we present to you Taylor Swift. They come with prices and vices, I end up in crisis. I wake up screaming from dreaming, one day I'll watch as you're leaving, cause you got tired of my scheming.
body and freeze everybody.